Mike, every year about 800,000 people have a stroke. 200,000 of those are considered cryptogenic, meaning the cause is undetermined. It leaves patients frustrated and anxious. There's a new patient guide. Dr. Marianne Bowman is here to take us through it. Good morning, Dr. Bowman. Good morning, Mary. Good to be with you. It's good to have you. Um, who's impacted most when we're talking about cryptogenic stroke? What do you see? Uh, we just have uh, so many people, about 200,000 uh, people with a stroke a year, don't really know what caused their stroke. And if you don't know what caused it, that leads to a lot of fear, frustration, and you mm -hmm. don't know how to avoid another one. Mm -hmm. Are there, I mean, are there certain like conditions that, that make you more susceptible to it, or is it just sort of, I mean, totally random, and that's part of what's so frustrating? Well, the uh, cryptogenic stroke, the stroke of unknown etiology, we don't know what caused it, is an ischemic stroke, which means you have a lack of blood flow to a part of the brain, mm -hmm. as opposed to a hemorrhagic stroke, where you have bleeding into the brain. Now, some of the things that can cause a cryptogenic stroke are atrial fibrillation. This is where the upper chamber of the heart kind of does this instead of beating normally, forms clots, can go up to the brain. A patent foramen ovale, that's a medical term, but basically it means a hole in the heart that didn't close in adulthood like it normally does. Or people who have clotting problems where they clot more easily, and then mm -hmm. they can form the clot and it can go to the brain. The Cryptogenic Stroke Initiative was created. What was the motivation for it? Uh, the motivation was, and we did this with our sponsor Medtronic, the motivation was to really raise the awareness of cryptogenic mm -hmm. stroke, that there are 200,000 of these that we don't know why, they cause, why they're caused, to kind of get a consistency of evaluation um, so that across the country, if you have a stroke like this, we can figure out and you'll get the same sort of evaluation and treatment as you would anywhere mm -hmm. else. I mentioned the patient guide. Uh, what kind of information mm -hmm. is included in it? What, what's the value? This is a really great value. It tells you what are the signs of a stroke. Mm -hmm. We have an acronym called FAST, F-A-S-T. F for facial weakness, droops. A, the arm might be weak, arm weakness or leg weakness. S, speech becomes garbled. You can't understand mm -hmm. the person. And then T, time lost is brain loss because people think, oh, I'll wait a while, see if it goes away. Call 911. Don't drive yourself. Call 911. So it's got that information. What kind of lifestyle changes? What um, is a cryptogenic stroke? Mm -hmm. What kind of evaluation you will have? It is a great tool. Mm -hmm. I've, I've read that once you have um, one stroke, you're, you're more likely to have others. How true is that? Mm -hmm. That is true, and that's why we really want to raise the awareness of cryptogenic stroke. We really want to raise the awareness of stroke mm -hmm. in general so that people know the warning signs, but they also make the lifestyle changes like mm -hmm. taking their blood pressure medications, eating right, uh, losing weight, quitting smoking, exercising, yeah. the, taking care of their cholesterol. These are the things that will make the difference to avoid the first stroke or the second stroke. I see that red dress pin on your lapel. Um, our yep. local Go yep. Red uh, for Women Expo is coming up here in Omaha next month, so I'll plug that mm -hmm. while we're talking about stroke and, of course, heart health. Um, give us a website, Dr. Bowman, then we'll let you go. It's strokeassociation.org slash CS for cryptogenic stroke. Mm -hmm. And I love that you're doing your Go Red. You know, stroke messaging is part of that as well. We've mm -hmm. got to decrease the number of strokes. Yeah, we'll be there trying to get the word out that night. Dr. Bowman, thanks for joining us this Great. morning. Thank you, Mary. Thank you. The school for